Thomas here at Shoreline Aquatics. I wanted to show you guys a really cool fish that I was lucky enough to get this year. Ivana Cara by Maculata. For those of you that are not familiar, there is a similar species in our hobby called Ivana Cara Attaketa. It's commonly known as the Zebra Cara. Ivana Cara by Maculata has yet to acquire an established trade name. I believe that's all going to change though the reason being is that this fish is a much better community fish than Zebra Cara. As far as size, Ivana Cara by Maculata is a smaller fish. The males are larger than the females. The males can be over three and a half inches and the females can reach just over two inches. One thing you might notice in the video is that the female is easy to differentiate from the male. All the mature females have a white spot on their vent and oftentimes there's a red to pinkish spot inside that. I was told from the person I received these from that this is one of the traits of this species. You might notice from going through this video that they change colors a lot. So their patterns can get lighter or darker and they can show different colors according to their moods. When I first got these and had them in quarantine, I had put them all together in a 90 gallon aquarium. These being young adult fish, I thought there would be trouble with aggression. If these were zebra acara, it wouldn't be long before they just shred each other. Although they did fight, and it was actually cool watching them as they faced off, swimming forwards and backwards without turning around. Plus, all the color switching, I immediately fell in love with these fish. When I finally separated pairs out, I put them into 20 gallon aquariums. It didn't take long before they were all raising fry. I haven't kept them with other fish here, but from what I've seen from the person I got them from, these fish will even raise fry in community setting, which I know zebra cara wouldn't do that. All the other fish would be in trouble. I want to talk a little bit about the origin of this line. This is some of the story from what I've been told. This South American dwarf cichlid is from Guyana. The population was found in a small blackwater lake and was collected and brought back to Europe in 2019. The species is not commonly imported and perhaps not likely to ever be imported again. If any of you have any more information or have anything to add or any corrections, please leave it in the comments. From my understanding, the wild collected fish were spawned in Sweden and later these offspring were imported into Washington State, USA. I didn't import the fish myself, but I was lucky enough to get them from a hobbyist that doesn't live too far from me. As far as care, I use the environment for zebra cara as a baseline. These fish come from soft acidic waters with very low mineral content. Zebra cara tends to like cooler water. I'm not sure if Ivana cara by Maculata is tolerant of hot water, but I've been successful raising these fish right now between 76 and 79 degrees Fahrenheit. As far as most of the black water fish that I raise and sell here at Shoreline Aquatics, I adapt to our local tap water conditions here in western Washington for several months before I sell them. When I spawn these fish, I use reverse osmosis water combined with natural tank furnishings that provide natural acidity. A lot of times it is thought that this water is very low in bacteria, so it doesn't provide a lot of the natural exposure for fish to develop the proper immune system to live in the more common aquarium conditions for our hobbyists here in the USA. It's important to acclimate them to tap water here before I sell them to you. This is one of the reasons why blackwater fish I sell have a reputation of being strong and tank ready. In maintaining these fish, I would recommend that you keep them in neutral to acidic pH and soft to moderate water hardness. If you want to spawn these fish successfully, you'll definitely need to use reverse osmosis water and you need to be mindful of your decorations. Keep your temperatures in the mid 70s. These fish are not picky eaters and they love feeding time. They haven't turned down any foods here. I feed flake foods, gel foods, frozen brine and mice's shrimp. And tanks with baby fish always receive the newly hatched brine shrimp. They don't need a lot of space. 
I keep my pears in 20 gallon tanks, but I imagine they can stay in 10 gallons and still be happy. Behaviorally, these are great fish. As with any small cichlid, they can't be kept with any shrimp, but they will get along well in a community setting. They are going to do really well in planted aquariums. I'm looking forward to getting these fish out there to everybody and established into our hobby. I really feel that in the future, these are going to become popular fish. They're going to be available starting September 1st on www.shoring-aquatics.com. Thank you all for your support. Bye.